On Friday, the latest jobs data will be released for the US and it will be a major focus. Remember the Federal Reserve has a twin mandate to achieve maximum employment and keep prices stable. So with inflation moving in the right direction with the latest PCE print, a weak jobs print here could really increase expectations of a Fed rate cut which could really boost the S&P 500. Now this is where Season Axe's event feature really comes in helpful. You can see here that over the last four years, from the day before to the day after the US labor report, the S&P 500 has gained 60% of the time for a medium return of 0.34%. However, what's also helpful, look at some of the maximum gains. It's been over 2% a number of times. Maximum was 3.86% here on June 2020, but also there's been significant falls. Over 3% here, 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 and here, and over 1% falls a number of occasions. So it's a pretty volatile print, and this feature helps us set expectations. Now, remember that markets have got more focus now on the US PC, you know, the US labor report, because of the latest PCE print that came in last month um, for April, right? Look, the headline in line with the prior for March, the core in line with the prior from March, and the month on month just came in slightly below forecast. So it's slightly weaker inflation. Now we've seen a number of Fed speakers talking about they haven't seen the progress they wanted in inflation, they will hike if needed, this takes all the pressure off. And the Fed's second mandate is not only keeping prices stable, so you could say, okay, this is going well, prices aren't certainly, inflation isn't r ripping out of control, so markets are a little bit relieved about that, and now it's the labour market data, very, very crucial. So if we see, when it comes to the labour market print on June the 7th, if we see this coming in like a big miss in the data. So if this comes in below 150, unemployment rate above, you know, 4%, average earnings coming in, you know, 3.6%. If we see a weakness in the labor market, that could really boost the S&P 500 higher. All outlooks have risks, and of course this is no exception. The main out the main risk with this outlook is that this is a two-way event and the moves in the S&P 500 will be linked to the extent that the labour market su surprises what markets are expecting. And you can see these expectations here with the low and the high. Remember, don't just trade it, season axe it. Come along here to season axe and find literally thousands more seasonal insights just waiting to be revealed.